Hello again, everyone, uh, and welcome back to my channel again. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, it's been a while since we've done this, but I just got a new book that we can talk about. So I just want to tell you this book, Outlier by Malcolm Gladwell, is one of the classics. So I'm pretty sure it uh, it's it's an old book. Like I've been reading this book like 10 years ago, something like that. So it definitely uh, came out like around 1996 or like 1998 something like that so it's a really old book um yeah it can't be precise but i just want to tell you a story about an outlier so what is an outlier right it's it's the story of success all right outlier as you can see is the story of success so basically what he talked about in this book is that how some people can uh, gain advantage in life, how they can be successful and things like that. So it's not only about talents. A lot of people are saying, hey, if you want to be successful, you have to be a talented person to begin with. You know? But that's not the case at all. So he was basically saying a lot of people are very successful because a lot of because of other factors, not just talent, but also where, um, what year they were born, which month they were born, even down to the dates, and also the environment, the culture, uh, the surrounding, what the person is surrounded themselves with, and the opportunity that he can get from their parents, the opportunity that they can get from their environments. For example, I live in Canada now, right? It's so different from back when I was um, living in Indonesia, for example. In Indonesia, in third world country, everything is very limited. There is no freedom of speech. And also there is no, um, as per se, a lot of opportunity compared to here in Vancouver, in Canada, for example. So people who are born in the first world country definitely have a lot of privilege and definitely have a lot of uh, head start as in they have a lot more money yeah that's a big one money they have a lot more um, access to education study they have a lot more access to the people that they hang around with i mean that's culture right so yeah, compared to uh, Indonesia where it's very singular and it's very, very hard to, um, to blend in there because um, of the culture. But another thing that he said is that in order for you to be successful, and this is what the book is very famous, um, it's one of his quotes that are saying, you have to spend 10,000 hours basically if you want to be good at something if you want to be an expert or if you want to excel on something you have to at least spend 10,000 hours before you become good at anything same with pilots same with athletes you know basketball player writer animator whatever you call whatever you want to say or even lawyer doctor you know you have to put 10,000 hours first before you can get better and what is 10,000 hours? 10,000 hours accumulates to 10 years. So basically he was saying, if you have spent 10 years crafting your craft or like crafting your skills, you will also be one of the experts, one of the, uh, somebody who are excel at what they do, and what they're doing, All right? So um, I wanna, based on my experience, I just wanna share a little bit I'm always a hard worker. Ever since I was a child, I always want to excel in a lot of things, a lot of area in my life. Um, basketball, for example, I always want to be a good basketball player. That's why I practice a lot. You know, after school, I make time to actually uh, go to the field and practice. Just practice shooting, practice dribbling, or anything like that. Um, even when I'm not academically excel, because I already knew like from early age I really want to become an artist I really want to become a good draftsman so I spend a lot of my time instead of studying I spend a lot of my time drawing okay I've done my research I read a lot of 
comic books. I read a lot of manga and things like that, and just try to analyze the style, trying to analyze how you know the artist, how the animators can actually draw,、uh, and how they how you can make yourself better, you know, with time. So I keep practicing, and、um, I come across this clip with Drake. You know Drake, right? So he's he's a very successful rapper and a singer. So if you don't know Drake, he already writing songs. He's already writing his lyrics from such an early age. By the time he was ten years old, he was already writing his own songs and his own lyrics, lyrics and all that. Same with Post Malone. Um, he already started very young. He already started singing. He already started, you know, playing instruments since he was very young. Like Ed Sheeran, the same thing. I'm gonna take a different、uh, example. Kobe Bryant, right? You, <laughs> you already knew that he was the goat in basketball. Like nobody come close to him. Even Michael Jordan. Okay, I'm not gonna touch Michael Jordan because he is the absolute <laughs> god. But Kobe Bryant, he has such a great mentality, and he has such a, a great、um, mindset about his、uh, what his confidence stem from his ability to understand that he is a very very hard worker. That's the thing about Kobe Bryant. So if you heard a story about him, whenever his teammates are you know leisuring. They just win a championship or whatever, and they are partying. Not Kobe, all right. Kobe, as soon as he won the championship, he is already back on the court practicing for the next championship. That's what separates Kobe Bryant with other basketball players out there because of his work ethics and his、um, ability to doing hard work. That's his superpower, I would say. So it's the same with a lot of these people, and he was mentioning Bill Gates, how he came about, how Bill Gates can be one of the most successful person on earth.、Um, also, Steve Jobs. It's because they have a lot of、uh, opportunity in life. When Bill Gates was very young, he was already、uh, a rich kid. You know, he was born from a really famous parents, a really rich parents, and. Um, by the time he was born, at the very at the right moment, so I come back to that, you know, the right time, the right year, and everything. So he was born at the perfect year, where computer like customer like computer has already started to rise and is already starting to make a mark in people's life. And he was very intrigued by that since an early age. By 12 years old, by the time he was 12 years old, he already are very intrigued,、uh, playing with computers and coding and all that stuff. So,、um, long story short, his parents basically put him into a, the best course, and they can even bought him a really、um, like Mac, for example, in in the current age. So. <laughs> His parents bought him a really advanced supercomputer that he can practice on, that he can play with every single day. You know, he don't even.、Uh, I heard that he even skip school just to code. You know, just to learn the computer. So from early age, he's already exposed and he's already practice his craft. That's why he's so good and he's very successful at what he does. It's the same with Steve Jobs too. He is already、uh, exposed to this technology things ever since he was very young. So, yeah, I mean, talent alone won't take you that far. It's that perseverance. It's that grit. It's that、uh, motivation that actually gonna propel you to success. All right. It's talent meets preparation. It's less more about the talent, but it's more about the preparation. What you do with those talent is what matters the most. And he said, like Malcolm, he said in this book,、um, in order to for you to be successful, even if you don't have any talents, you just need to work harder than everybody else. That's how you become successful. And 
it's not limited it's not like oh um, not a lot of people can be successful yes because if everybody are successful then there is no no one successful right because everybody is are successful so what separates the champion and the loser is because the champion he already prepare bef even before the game begins even before the life begins right so you have to work hard if you want to be successful and it's possible for even for people who doesn't have any talent to be successful as long as you put in the work as long as you have that drive and that ambition and that's gonna take you to that uh, next level and i want to leave you with this message before we end this video if you still haven't found what you're passionate about if you haven't found what you're good at keep going you know don't be afraid to experiment don't be afraid to start from zero or start from nothing and build yourself from there and little you know small steps compounding compounding into a bigger effects later on and if you keep being consistent if you keep just practicing keep practicing your craft and never give up even though you found a lot of obstacles around the, along the way just like uh, i did i have a lot of obstacles around, along the way it's not like my career is smooth sailing or i don't i never encounter any problems any hiccups in my career no i had a lot of problems i had a lot of hiccups along the way but what separates me is that i refuse to give up all right i just refuse to give in to the problem or the depression or whatever that is i choose to keep moving forward even though it's just a small step if you can't run then walk if you can walk then crawl but by all means keep moving right that's a quote from malcolm x by the way and just like what steve Jobs said um, stay hungry stay foolish never be satisfied with where you are always strive for more stay hungry or thirsty and never ever settle and never ever confirm to your comfort zone all right so if you can do that i'm pretty sure and i hope you can also be successful i hope you can gain a lot of um, fortune in your career or in your profession things like that so yeah thank you again for listening to my video this time and if you want to check it out this book is called outliers by martin gladwell so it's an instant classic Go check it out if you haven't, and it's gonna set you up for a successful life. All right, and with that, I'm gonna close this video. And thank you again for listening. See you next time. Bye.